Samsung are known for making some pretty awesome internal and external SSDs. This one is their newest, it's the X5. It is a Thunderbolt 3 uh, kind of almost external SSD, similar to their T lineup, so the T1, T3, and T5s. And those are all pretty great drives, but this one kind of takes it to the next level. Let's take a look at it. Now, the first thing to mention is that while the cable that comes in the box is technically a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, and the connection on the top of this is a USB Type-C connector, the protocol that this runs over is Thunderbolt 3 and only Thunderbolt 3. If you try and plug this even with the Type-C to Type-C cable into your laptop, you know, that doesn't have a Thunderbolt 3 port or, you know, a Type-C port with Thunderbolt 3 available, then this physically will not work. It won't, you won't be able to access your files. That is it. It is a Thunderbolt 3 only drive. So really what we're saying is Mac users rejoice. You finally have a super fast external SSD. Now, of course, there are a couple of gaming laptops and Ultrabook and stuff like that on the sort of Windows side that do have Thunderbolt 3. So if you have one of those, then nice one. This one will work just fine with those and you know, it'll be a pretty great experience. Obviously a nice uh, stupid fast SSD is always a, a nice option to have. But um, since uh, this is, as I said, only a Thunderbolt 3 drive and the Asus GL703GS laptop that I have doesn't have Thunderbolt 3, this is not a review, it's more of an overview, just to kind of mention that this exists, mention what Samsung's claims are, I'll give you a little bit of a tour of it and why you might be interested in one, but there won't be any actual testing or awards or anything like that in this video, as that just kind of doesn't feel right when I can't actually test the drive itself. So since this is a fairly small drive, we're going to do a fairly quick physical overview. On the top you have what essentially looks like a car's roof box, that kind of grey aesthetic with a sort of bulging shape. Um, on the back you have a very vibrant red which is a soft touch plastic and has your you know serial number and the Samsung logo and stuff and on the top you have more of that red plastic along with the Thunderbolt 3 port and an activity LED and that's pretty much it. Now, the drive itself has a fair bit of heft to it in your hand it's a really heavy drive for just being an SSD but the reason for that when you look at the sort of exploded view is that it has a massive heatsink for what is essentially just an M.2 SSD with a Thunderbolt converter board. This means that in theory if you know the Thunderbolt port breaks or something you could take it apart and still access all of your files with the M.2 drive just in a PC but of course if you want this level of performance then in theory you can just go pick up a Samsung 970 Evo or Pro and get a USB Type-C enclosure or something like that and in theory that would work just fine obviously Thunderbolt 3 is 40 gig a second whereas USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 2 is 10 so it's going to be a bit slower but either way that would still be pretty impressive but uh, to mention the actual speeds of the drive this one is rated at 2800 megabytes per second reads and depending on which model you get either 21 or 2300 megabytes per second writes which is actually pretty impressive for you know especially an external drive so very interesting to see. Now, Samsung hasn't listed the endurance for this drive in the reviewers guide so I can't quote that but I can quote that it has a three-year warranty, which is actually a bit lower than their standard internal drives. So bear that in mind if you are, you know, kind of looking to, to upgrade your storage or whatever. But either way, as an external drive goes, obviously the T5 is their kind of uh, USB version of this, essentially. Still comes in fairly similar sizes. This one comes in 500 gig, one terabyte, and two terabytes, and is still obviously a pretty impressive kind of value price point when you look at the speeds and stuff that you get. It's obviously a little bit of a premium, but overall, as I said, the, the T5 is the kind of USB version, so if you don't have Thunderbolt 3, that would be where I'd head if you need an external drive, especially a fast one like this. Uh, and, you know, overall, uh, they're just pretty impressive drives. They're kind of generally worth their money uh, if you have a supported laptop or, or desktop or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's kind of that. Now, as I said, this isn't a review because I can't test it. If I do get the ability to test it in the near future, I'll try and update this video or maybe I'll do another one. Feel free to, you know, let me know what you think in the comments down below but either way I would also love to hear your thoughts on the drive itself in the comments down below do you have Thunderbolt 3 available to you is this interesting or is this something that you wouldn't be interested in because you've you know got a T5 or a T3 or anything else let me know in the comments down below there's a link to the X5 in the description down below that will be the top one there for you you can check that out check out pricing when and where you watch this and all that jazz and of course if you want to pick one up feel free to look at that too of course if you want to support the channel and hopefully help me buy some like Thunderbolt 3 hardware and stuff then and uh, feel free to take a look at the links in the description. There's Patreon, there's the merch link where you can pick up t-shirts like this one, or some non-TechTeamGB related 
designs if you fancy. There's also Humble Bundle affiliate links if you want some cool and cheap games. Uh, Amazon and Overclock UK affiliate links which all massively help out. Of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one or I guess more reviews not necessarily like this one. Uh, there's also plenty of other videos over here for you to check out and otherwise that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments down below and we'll see you all in the next video.